Hey, welcome back. This is part three of the knowledge check on AZ-304 examination series. We are continuing from part two. Question number 27. You are designing a database migration solution for an organization with 80 SQL Server integration services packages that are configured to use eight on-premises SQL Server databases as targets. Let's look at some of the specifics. They want to migrate eight on-premises SQL Server databases to Azure SQL database. The solution must be able to host SSIS packages in Azure and the solution need to ensure that the packages can target the SQL database instances as destinations. Which service do you recommend? Correct answer is Azure Data Factory. Azure Data Factory allows for reusing SSIS packages through SSIS runtime. Let's look at question number 28. You are designing an automated process to facilitate the upload of data to an Azure SQL database once a week. Below are the specifics. Ensure that weekly reports are generated from web access logs. The web access logs data is stored in the Azure Blob Storage. You need to recommend an automated process for uploading the data to an Azure SQL database once a week. Which of the options below do you recommend? The correct answer is Azure Data Factory. Because Azure Data Factory supports scheduled upload from Azure Blob Storage to Azure SQL Database. Let's look at question number 29. You are recommending a service for an organization that has the following requirements. Ensure that they store data files in Azure Blob Storage. They want to transform the files and move them to Azure Data Log Storage and the solution must ensure that the data is transformed by mapping data flow. Which of the service below do you recommend? The correct answer is Azure Data Factory. Data flows are created in Azure Data Factory. So you must first deploy Azure Data Factory before you can create a data flow. Question number 30. You are advising a company that wants to increase efficiency while reducing cost. The flow below shows the log files generated by the users to a web server. The flow logs goes to Azure Data Factory, then to Data Lake Storage, and then to Azure Data Bricks, and finally visualized using Power BI. The log files are consistent in format, and there is 500 to 900 MB of logs created in a day. Power BI is used to see the data. You are asked to recommend a solution that minimizes cost without affecting functionality. What do you recommend? The correct answer is replace Azure Data Factory with cron jobs using AZ Copy. Using AZ Copy to move files such as log files with consistent formats from a web server as a storage target can significantly reduce cost. Question number 31. Your organization has an Azure VM named OEM VM3 that runs on Windows Server 2019 and contains 1 TB of data files. You are asked to design a solution using Azure Data Factory to transform the data files and then load them into Azure Data Lake Storage. What should you deploy on OEM VM3 to support your design? The correct answer is a self-hosted integration runtime. A self-hosted integration runtime can run copy activities between a cloud data store and a data store in a private network. Question number 32. You are asked to recommend a solution to generate a monthly report on all the recent Azure Resource Manager resource deployments in a subscription. Which two solutions below should you include in your recommendation? The correct answers are Azure Activity Log and Azure Log Analytics. Activity Log allows you to monitor operations on resources in a subscription. Also, Activity Logs can be queried and reviewed in Log Analytics. Azure Advisor does not provide deployment reviews, it provides best practices guidance. 
Action groups are a set of actions to be taken in response to an alert, but not to view all the recent Azure Resource Manager resource deployments. Let's look at question number 33. You are asked to recommend a solution that supports multiple Azure subscriptions and third party hosting providers. You are designing a central monitoring solution that will provide the following services. Collect log and diagnostic data from all subscriptions and third party providers into a central repository. Also, services that analyze log data, detect threats, and provide automatic responses to known events. Which Azure service should you include in the recommended solution? The correct answer is Azure Sentinel. Azure Sentinel is a cloud native security information and event management and security orchestration, automation and response tool. Azure Sentinel is using intelligent security analytics and threat intelligence. Question number 34. You are asked to recommend the implementation of a retail order processing web service that will contain microservices hosted in an Azure Service Fabric cluster. You need to recommend a solution to developers that can actively identify and resolve performance issues. The developers need to have the ability to simulate user connections to the order processing web service from the web and simulate user transactions. The developers want to be notified if threshold of the transaction response times are not met. What should you recommend for this solution? The correct answer is Application Insights. Application Insights allows you to gather the application information from inside apps regardless of where they are running and to analyze internal bottlenecks. Question number 35. You have been asked to design a business continuity solution for the deployment of a payment processing system to Azure for an auto parts wholesaler. The payment processing system will use Azure VMs running SUSE Linux Enterprise Server and Windows. You need to recommend a solution for a business continuity solution that fulfill the following. Provide business continuity if an Azure region fails, minimize cost, and provide an RTU of 90 minutes and provide an RPO for 5 minutes. What should you recommend? The correct answer is Azure Site Recovery. Azure Site Recovery enables failover and would move the affected VMs to another region. Question number 36. You are asked to design a storage solution to support on-premises resources and Azure hosted resources. You need to provide on-premises storage that has built-in replication to Azure. And your solution is to include Store Simple as a part of your design. Does your design recommendation provide on-premises storage with replication to Azure? Correct answer is yes. Store Simple is an appliance that can be used both on-premises and in Azure to provide immediate replication between the two sites. That concludes part three. The next one is the last part for the knowledge check. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.